Over the years, I've done a lot of videos on home security systems, home security cameras, and on most of those, I've gotten the same question, and that is, what do you do when the power goes out? And the truth is, in most cases, they stop working. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prevent that from happening pretty simply and easily. So stay tuned. Now my current setup is a UFI security camera setup, but this applies to pretty much any internet-based security camera setup that you have. And how these work is a couple different ways. My UFI cameras, some of them talk straight to the modem and then straight out of the cloud. Other ones talk to a home base and then to the cloud. My WISE system that I used to have, that I still have a lot of the cameras laying around for, most of these communicated straight to the modem. Now, some of the manufacturers have come up with battery backups for their base stations. The problem is it can't see the internet because if your power goes down, your router and your modem is down as well. So they are communicating back to the hub, but they're not communicating out to the net, so you're not getting alerts on your phone. And the solution that I'm doing in my house is using one of these. This is an uninterruptible power supply, and this solves the problems here as well as some other problems that you have during a power outage. What this is is essentially a big battery. This plugs into your wall power, and then all of your devices plug into this. There is one caveat with this I'll share in just a second. So how this works is when your power goes down, this thing starts chugging out on the battery, and it keeps feeding battery power to all of your devices that are plugged into it. So that means your modem stays up. If you have a router plugged in, your router stays up, and your base station stays up as well. So that means your whole security system stays up. Now, I said there was a caveat here, and that is some of your cameras, like these two, plug into a wall. These obviously will not be working because they're on the other side of the house, and unless you have another one of these for this, you're out of luck. But most cameras these days seem to be going to this kind of setup, which is battery. Some of them even have solar on top. Those will keep working because they're running off of a battery. Now, I did say there were other benefits to this, and that is this means your home network stays up. So when the power goes out, you can still watch Netflix. You can still watch YouTube. You can still watch all that stuff without having to rely on a cellular network. Now in this video, I'm actually gonna be replacing my old power supply with this new one because the old one is shot. I went with this one from Golden Mate and that's because this one is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So it should last a long time and it doesn't have those issues of other kinds of lithium batteries. And it has a pretty good size capacity. I've figured out that running uh, this, this and everything else in a full power outage, this thing should get me six to eight hours of runtime, which will give me plenty of time to get my house back up online using a generator. So now let's get out and actually show you how this thing is set up. Now at the very end of the video, I'm gonna go over any pros and cons and little tips and tricks that I found along the way doing this kind of stuff that'll help you out make a decision if this is right for you. Now this cabinet is actually where I have my home network, my home security system, my video game systems, basically my whole home media setup. And down here in the bottom, if you can see, it's kind of dark inside. I have an older system. Now the older system is an old lead acid battery, so I have to replace that battery every two years or so. So the reason we chose to go with this one from Golden Mate is a couple reasons actually, and this is some stuff to keep in mind when you're shopping around for an uninterruptible power supply. We'll have a link for this one down below because this is the one we chose to go with, but it was for a couple of reasons. The primary reason is this has a lithium iron phosphate battery in it, not a lithium ion battery, which tend to do things like explode, or the old lead acid batteries, which need to be replaced every couple years. This thing should last a really long time sitting in that cabinet, chugging away. The other reason we went with it is because it can put out a lot of juice. This thing can put up up to 800 watts of juice, which is way more than what my system needs. And it's rated to run for 30 minutes, putting out 400 watts which is way in excess of what my system consumes. I figure this thing will probably run for about four hours through a power outage, and that's more than enough for me to get my backup power running on my house. Now, speaking real quick of home backup power, I do have a video on how we're backfeeding the house, uh, the entire house, using an inexpensive Harbor Freight generator and a transfer switch. If that's something you're interested in because you're dealing with power outages, I'll have a link for that down below. But right now, let me show you how we hook this thing up because it's actually very, very easy. And hooking these things up is very simple. First, we're gonna take the power from our router, plug it in there, and take the power from our home security system and plug it in there. So now both of those systems will power on or actually stay powered on when the power goes off. The way this thing works is you have power that comes in from the wall down here at the bottom. 
and when the power goes out, it continues to feed AC power to the devices that you have plugged in. Now, what I would advise when you're doing this is don't plug in everything, just plug in the necessities, because if you're running a lot of other stuff, you're going to deplete the system a lot faster. So now the entire system is running, and we're gonna simulate a power outage by unplugging this thing from the wall. You'll notice it just beeped there. That's letting us know that it does not have power. You can see it's no longer pulling in power here from the wall, and we are putting out 30 watts. Now doing the math there, that means this thing will run for hours and hours and hours. Still running my security system, still giving me alerts. So now's the point where I go over all the pros and cons. And at this point, because this isn't really a pro and con section, I'm also gonna go over some advice when you're doing this. Now the system that we went with was from Golden Mate. And the reason we went with that one, as I said before, was a couple things. It's small and compact. It's got lithium iron phosphate batteries, not lipo batteries, not lead acid batteries. So it's going to last a lot longer and has a pretty decent power output. So it can run for a long time when the power goes out, giving me enough of a chance to figure out what I'm gonna do or me still getting alerts for a long time if I'm not at home. Now, the previous system that I had, like I mentioned, was a lead acid battery and the thing sat flat on a shelf. It took up a ton of room. This thing sits vertically like a book and it takes up a lot less room on the shelf, which is nice. The other nice thing is it's got that little screen so I can actually tell what it's doing. My last one really didn't give me an indicator how my batteries were doing. So if I started to run low, I really didn't know until I ran completely out. Now I'd honestly recommend setting up something like this, even if you don't have a home security system and you're just using your home network. And that's because at least where I live, we have times of the year, especially stormy season, where our internet will go up and down several times a day because of power glitches. Now, everybody in the neighborhood's trying to get back up online, their stuff's trying to reconnect, and it'll take 10, 15 minutes for that thing to get back up online. We've got a home office, time is money. So it is really nice to have something that we know is not going to go down. It also means we have a little bit of a buffer. So if the internet does go down or the power does go out, we can keep working for a little bit, finish up what we're doing before we have to run out and get the generator started and run the entire house. Now, speaking of that battery, form factor wise, this is probably the smallest battery I've used for the capacity it puts out. The one that I had before this was about half the capacity, lead acid, and it took up almost an entire shelf inside that cabinet. This thing sits vertical, takes up very little room, so I have a lot of room for other stuff inside the cabinet. It's not taking up a whole shelf. And because it's lithium iron phosphate, it does charge a whole lot faster than a lead acid battery would. Now let's get into the cons because there are really two and one of them has to do with that charging rate. Because that thing charges so fast, it needs a cooling fan and the cooling fan does kick on periodically and it is pretty loud. So if you've got it in a home office, every 45 minutes or so that cooling fan kicks on for a few minutes, even when it's just in the charging state and you will hear it. It's not obnoxiously loud, but you will hear it. So if you're doing stuff like I do like YouTube and I'm doing audio stuff and it kicks on, it can be a distraction. Now really the biggest con with this particular system is the beep. I've had other systems where you can disable the beep or have it beep once or a couple times to let you know and then you can turn off the beeper. You can hear it in the background. This thing just beeps nonstop when the power's out. So if you wish it wasn't beeping, there's really no way to disable. Now I hope this video helped you out, get your system running a little bit better and having your house a little bit more secure. And hey, you can watch Netflix too, so that's always a plus. So if this video helped you out, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you got questions about this setup, suggestions for other videos or home security questions in general, because I do a lot of this stuff, please leave a comment down below. I'm always answering questions in the comment section and hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna have a lot more stuff like this, security stuff, electronics, DIY, and all that jazz coming your way real soon. And of course, thanks for watching.